Hey Cancer, my name is Jenny. This is Divine Family Tarot. I hope you are doing your best. And if not, I hope you're on your way there. I'm going to pick an oracle card for you. Read this at the end of your reading. Two fell out. Let's see. It's confront and trust. So I'm going to read those at the end. These are general readings and they are timeless. So if this reading doesn't resonate, feel free to check your other placements. I do have playlists below. Also, uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, my website information is in the description box below. If you enjoy this reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Spirit, I pray for clear and accurate messages for cancer. Please protect my energy as well as the energy of my viewer. I am grateful. Thank you. All right. Let's get started, cancer. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross for you today. Let's get into your reading. Current situation for you is the Nine of Swords being crossed by the Five of Wands. So it kind of looks like you're in your head a lot at this time. And the challenge here is conflict. So a lot of internal conflict going on for you at the moment. It looks kind of like matters of the heart, maybe matters of stability, maybe work, but uh, I kind of feel more like this is leaning towards the love, um, loving relationships type of a reading, so we'll find out in a second. Um, you need to focus on the King of Swords, which is knowledge, which is, you know, being determined, kind of like that unwavering drive here in your past, a lot of love for a situation. Maybe this is just you being loving to yourself. Not sure yet. I'm going to go ahead and clarify in a minute. Your strength, the three of pentacles, very much um, being able to work with people around you, work with family, work with friends, that type of environment, like easygoing, always willing to learn. And then here for your um, near future, the Page of Wands, possibly communicating with somebody or doing something brand new. I feel like this is communication with someone that you're maybe interested in or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Um, here for your advice, Queen of Swords. You got the Queen and the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with an ex, some of you. That, that might not be all of you, but that is some of you. But for the Queen of Swords to be your advice and for the King of Swords to be what you need to focus on, it's like kind of reiterating for me what I had said for the King of Swords. So the same thing, you know, being logical but smart, being focused, taking action, you know. Hopes and fears. Oh, no, this is not hopes and fears. Bah, this is what surrounds you. So for what surrounds you, 
Ooh. And I'm wondering if there's people holding on to your energy that you might not be aware of, or you're doing that to somebody else, maybe holding on to energies that are no longer needed. We'll find out. Hopes and fears is the hermit. Mm. Maybe a little fear of ending up by yourself. Maybe a little fear of, you know, just being in that blah place. Because a lot of times the hermit represents like, um, yeah, you're searching for knowledge within. You're kind of taking time out for yourself and going through things internally. But it also, you know, it's like a little bit of depression goes with that. Um, sometimes, not all the time. I'm not picking that up too much with this, but more like a little sad. I get a little bit of a sad vibe with that. Potential outcome. Come on. Is that not beautiful? That's perfect. All right, let's uh, let's get into this reading. What is bothering Cancer at this moment that they are in this Nine of Swords? Ah, I feel like some of you guys feel stuck. You feel stuck. You feel like maybe some of you want to move. Okay, yeah. This is my uh, my mini version of OCD is when my cards start moving around too much as I'm touching them. So let me just... Uh... <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying. For some of you, you guys want to move. Actual like physical location. I feel like you guys are in a very um, standstill energy, even though the chariot does mean movement. I feel like nothing's moving. I got to be honest with you. I feel like things could be moving. The energy is there for things to be moving in your life, but they're not. So that's probably because of this. So let's see what that is about. I swear to you, some of you want to move, and that's all it's about. I, I feel like with these cards here, um, very much that there might be conflict about some kind of a move, some kind of home situation, some kind of stability situation. For some of you, it is a relationship. It could be a marriage. Um, but I feel like some of you want to move, and maybe there's not enough finances at this time, or maybe it's not going to be to your best um in your best interest to move that that could be for some of you also maybe it's not in your best interest to move to move forward in a relationship here but yeah, i'm not getting that too much i thought it was going to lean more towards love but these cards here are leaning me towards maybe relocating also i don't just regurgitate um card meanings i i read intuitively so not everything is going to match if you look it up Yeah, I feel, I feel like a lot of you want to move. And and I don't just mean move physically. Some of you want to switch careers. Some of you guys want to, yeah, move, switch houses, switch cities. Um, But I feel like you're tired of being stuck, basically. I feel like you're tired of feeling no movement in your life. And then with the King of Swords here being what you need to focus on, which is action, um, very direct and then again a home card came out so like some of you guys want to move I'll say it for the 20th time right um, but I feel like there's a lot of confusion as to where to go with that and you're kind of looking at options of what to do for some of you like I said it's career for some of you it's um love for other of you for excuse me for others of you this could be a family situation I feel like it could be love. Definitely feeling trapped where you're at. At least in the recent past you did. Um, and this involving something long term. I don't have the Hierophant out, out here. But I do get long term vibes with all this um, energy that's on the table. You know. I feel like in the recent past. Um, when I say you've been in your head. It feels like. Sleepless nights, 
It feels like it just engulfs your mind and you don't want it to. I got to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like you want to necessarily think about everything you're thinking about. But you feel like there is nothing else on your mind except for the situation here. I cannot. I cannot. I'm talking today to a cancer who is looking to change around a lot of things in their life. For whoever I'm talking to, if you want to move, I cannot emphasize how much energy is supporting you right now. Um, for others of you, this that's not just the case, but um. This is also telling me that they want something that makes you excited about life again. So for some of you, you do want to change careers. Um, there's just a lot of change energy. I feel like a lot of cancers right now are just in this place of blah and wanting new and not really knowing how to go for it. But that's okay because it comes to us. I feel like a change is going to be slow coming, but it is going to happen. You just got to trust your intuition some a little bit more. I feel like if you trust your intuition, you move towards where they're, um, where your spirit guides are guiding you, you're going to be very successful. It might be a little slow, but I do it see I do see it being very successful and that is in the near future for you. So have patience with yourself. You're going to get all those changes you want, Cancer. Definitely. For your advice here with the Queen of Swords being clarified by these cards, I really do believe that this is saying you know what to do when it comes to all this, whether it be whether it be moving, whether it be work, whether it be love, you know what to do. You know what to work hard at. You know what deserves your energy and what doesn't. And with the Page of Pentacles, I see um, you possibly going for it very in the very near future. You're just going for whatever it is that you want to do um, in the situation. I know if I say move one more time, right? <laughs> Influences. I feel like Maybe the reason that all this feels a little stuck is you might not have, I can't say you don't have the support of someone, don't get me wrong, um, but it could be that somebody attached to you, someone attached to your energy is having a hard time with making this work for them. So for some of you, I feel like you guys are in a place of trying to make something work, but you know, not being, not being on the same page necessarily, but wanting to be, definitely. I feel like somebody here watches you. There might be someone attached. That What I just said about wanting to work something out with someone, that is for some of you. For others of you, I feel like you want to get out of a situation and someone from your past is holding on to your energy and watching you online and probably you could feel it. And it's like, it's hard for you to move on because you're constantly thinking about this person. And to be honest with you, it's because they're thinking about you. So, the hermit. Ah, that's beautiful energy. So for your hopes and fears being the hermit, it's showing me you going internal. It's showing me you really focusing on your dreams, your goals things that make you happy, things that make you feel successful. I love that. Man, Cancer, I don't have any water in my chart. You make me want to have water in my chart. Look at those cards for the Hermit. That's beautiful energy right there. Definitely, definitely um, setting goals for yourself.
And for the potential outcome being wish fulfillment, I see I'm just a little nervousness there and that's normal, being a little afraid of what's to come because I still see you going at it. I still see you giving a lot of love to whatever situation this is for you in your life. And it's coming in quicker than you think. Even though I said so earlier, maybe slow for you at the moment, but when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, everything happens faster than we always think it does. So yeah, uh, this is a beautiful reading. All right, let's see what else is coming in for Cancer. What else is coming in for Cancer at this time? Coming in for cancer at this time. You get fair male, open relationship, children, and passion. Just be careful of that open relationship if that's not something you're looking for but yeah this looks like something really good is coming in for you if you're single this is really good energy for a, a brand new relationship coming up um one that is very passionate one that does make you feel like a child inside just be careful that this is not attached to it you know maybe with a fair male you might be a fair male i don't know Let's see, what other messages do we have for cancer? I'm going to take a few of these tea leaves. These uh, are hard for me to shuffle, so I'll do my best. My sister does that shuffling where she kind of does that thing with her hand really fast. And I'm like, that's so cool, but my hands, I just can't. So I do my version of my shuffling, and it's always worked. But I kind of wish I could do that with these cards. And for your tea leaves, you get flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Oh, definitely. Especially with that open relationship card. It's like that goes hand in hand. Diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Beautiful. I feel like that gift is coming towards you, to be honest with you. Especially with the cards you pulled here for um, hopes and fears and potential outcome. Beautiful. Dragon. Beware of self-delusion. There you go. And then we're going to go with this deck here real quick and pull two angel messages for you. And then I'll read these two cards here. Kindness. A kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love, remember to be kind to yourself. Positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. That's beautiful. We're going to read these two. Confront and trust. Bear with me. It's early. It's early in the morning here and... My reading is funny sometimes. Trust being the full card. Keywords, leap, dare, innocence, optimism, belief, and courage. Rejoice, the universe is looking out for you. Now it's, now it's the time to trust that the path you're on is in fact the right one. Believe that whatever you desire concerning affairs of the heart can be manifested in the proper time and for your highest good. Trusting the universe takes courage, but it also removes the burden of doing it all on your own. When you feel alone in situations, it can diminish your energy and desire to take actions that will improve your situation. This card reminds you that you are not alone. It is also a reminder that the positive energy is available to you to manifest what you truly desire. In addition to trust, this is a card of action and opportunity. Once we know that the universe has our back, we are free to take that all important leap of faith and pursue our dreams concerning affairs of the heart. Put aside any fear, dis disillusionment, frustration, and hopelessness, and open your heart to what you desire. 
Do it now with the carefree innocence you had as a child and expect to receive what you need. Take steps to find love or to improve or strengthen a relationship. Take some risk and maintain the attitude of positive, positive expectancy. Whether it's a relationship with another person or a relationship with yourself, now is the time to take action. Even a good relationship can be improved. Uh, what steps can you take to achieve what you desire? Affirmation. I open myself to giving and receiving the love that is for my highest good. And that's the full card. And then you also get confront because they both fell. And I know it's a lot of reading, but hey, when it falls, it falls. So keywords for confront is fear, question, explore, courage, illusion, and clarity. Introspection and clarity are important at this time. Feelings that have laid dormant are now coming to the surface. They have been a part of your subconscious for some time. They're referred to as your shadow self and represent all of your fears and disillusion regarding the matters of the heart. You may have concerns about examining these issues, but know that when an issue arises, to, when an issue rises to the surface, it's ready to be faced and healed. Have the courage to acknowledge and confront these newly emerging feelings. Look at them from all sides and try to determine where they first came from, when and how they planted in your subconscious. Question the validity of these feelings. Often they were based in your childhood imagination and are no more than an illusion. They're not appropriate for your adult relationships, yet they persist. They are not based on reality, but they are powerful influences and can affect your relationships in major ways. They can even prevent a romantic relationship from manifesting. Have the courage to explore your beliefs and misconceptions about love. You may find that these emerging feelings are based not only on your limited perceptions, but also on what you actually saw or experienced as a child. Know that whatever your reality was then, it, is, it does not have to be your reality now. You are no longer that person. Examine these feelings and gain clarity on who you are and what is true for you regarding relationships. Affirmation. I examine my feelings about relationships and release what is no longer my truth. And this, this is the moon card in this deck. So, well, obviously, right? There's your moon, there's your shadow. Very much the moon card. So that was today's reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post my next video. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.